In this video, I'll be flashing a Sonoff basic Wi-Fi switch with Tasmoda. First, we'll solder on some header pins. After the pins are attached, we'll connect our serial adapter and flash Tasmoda. It's pretty easy and straightforward, but you can cause damage if you're not careful. Please do this at your own risk. I am not responsible for any damage or harm to you or your equipment. With that being said, you will need a few things to follow along in this video. A USB to TTL serial adapter, header wires, mine came with my adapter, some header pins that are opposite of your wires, the Sunoff switch itself, a soldering iron, and some solder. I'll leave a link in the description below for what I've used, so let's get to it. First we need to open up the Sunoff so we can get to the board to solder the pins to it. Pressing here should give you enough room to get your fingernail or smudge tool in here to pop open the case. Go ahead and get your four header pins ready. And now we'll take the header pins and this is where we will connect them to the sewn off board. We'll just put the short end through the top of the board and we'll solder on the bottom. I used this alligator clip here to hold the pins in place until I got the first solder joint put on. And now we solder the pins on. Now that we have the pins soldered to the board, let's connect our serial adapter to our PC to confirm it's installed correctly. If you're on Windows 10 or 11, press the Windows key plus X, or you can right click on the start button. And we're going to go up to the device manager, ports and common LPT is where we're going to put our focus on. We'll go ahead and expand that. Connect your serial adapter and it should appear here. And there we go. It took a second to install, but Windows found it and it is currently installed on COM3. Disconnect it from your PC so we can connect the header wires. Connect the plug to the adapter side. If you're using the same serial adapter I have, I use the white wire for the VCC connection. The rest of the wire should fall in place. On the Sonoff side, ensure the VCC goes to 3.3 volt pin. This will be the white wire in my case. Ground goes to ground. The serial adapter's TX has to go to the Sonoff RX. And if you think about that, it makes sense. The serial adapter is transmitting over the TX, so the Sonoff is having to receive it on the RX. And we're gonna do the same thing with the RX on the serial adapter, going to the TX on the Sonoff. If your adapter has the option between 3.3 volts and five volts, be sure the jumper is connected to the 3.3 volt pin. Connecting five volts to the Sonoff could possibly do damage. To boot the Sonoff into program mode, you have to hold down this button on the Sonoff while it is being connected. You can either push it down like a button or you can either push it to the side like a toggle switch almost. Either way works, but regardless, it has to be pressed while the USB adapter is connected to your PC. I'm holding it here and I'm connecting my USB adapter. You'll know that it worked if you do not get any lights on the Sonoff. If you don't hold down the button, you get a blue light on the Sonoff. You want to be sure that you're holding the button and then connecting the USB. Once it's connected, you can let go of the button. Back over to the PC. We're going to open up your browser. We're gonna do a search for Tasmoda. Go ahead and click on the first link. And from here, we're just gonna go over to the web installer and select whatever version of Tasmoda you want to install and then click connect. Mine was on three, so we're gonna select three and I'm gonna select connect. Now go ahead and select install. I like to erase the device, so I'm going to select the erase device and then select next and then install. And that's finishing up the installation. Go ahead and select next and we're done. We can disconnect the Sonoff from the serial adapter. Now go ahead and reassemble your Sonoff. 
looking at the top of the sonoff, on the left we have input. This is where the male end of your cable is going to connect to your sonoff. On the right side is the output, and this is where we connect the female end of our cable. Both sides also have an N for neutral and L for live or load. Now if we look at the cable that you're going to be connecting to the sonoff, one side of the cable will be grooved, and the other side should be smooth. The grooved wire will go into the neutral terminal, and the smooth side will go into the live or load terminal. Once you have the wires connected to the terminals, be sure to screw the wire covers on as well to keep the wires secure. Connect the sun off to the power outlet. You should get this blinking blue light. Using any wireless device with a browser, scan the SSIDs in the area. You should find an unsecure one named Tasmodo something. Go ahead and connect to it. And then we're going to browse to 192.168.4.1. And this is where you can connect the Sonoff to your 2.4 wireless network. You can either select it from the list here or type it in manually. Enter the password and click save. And we have a successful Wi-Fi connection. Back on your network, browse to the IP the Sonoff gave you. And that's it. Pressing the toggle button will toggle whatever you have connected on and off. I have this utility lamp connected for demonstration, and when I press the toggle button, it toggles it on. And when I press it again, it toggles it off. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.